Yeah, there we go. Alright, congratulations to Ash for finally getting me up. He was pressuring me up to, uh, um, to do a talk. Uh, I work with Ash at the ABC. Uh, I only just started a couple months ago and I had to learn D3 um, by scratch. <laughs> and so uh, a little while ago there was a solar eclipse and um, we couldn't see it in Australia, but uh, they wanted me to build a, this, this uh, page where you can see the solar eclipse um, in the next hundred years, if you live that long. Um, and here's the next six, five or six solar eclipses on a spinning globe. So in the next five to ten minutes, I'm going to show you how to make a spinning globe in D3, hopefully. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to use glitch.com because I think it's cool. Um, and you can follow along if you've got a computer. Um, I'm just going to make a new project here. If you've got a computer, I'm just going to call it world. If my world there. And we're going to go make the world. Here we go. Okay, this is the readme. Welcome to the world, a spinning globe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, yeah. Twitter.com at Fox, P H O C K S. Okay, so this will have made a page, hopefully, called world.glitch.me. You can go to that page and does the, the to do thing. Okay, I'm gonna do this uh, world. So it automatically updates, and you can click down here if you want to edit the project that lets you actually view in real time what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of this main section here. I'm gonna put a div uh, with an ID of map. And that's where we're going to chuck our SVG in here. We're going to get rid of all this code in the client. Um, we're going to plug in D3 here. Just going to put it in the HTML right down under here. Oh, that's not it. Yeah. Um, okay. So hopefully we've got that in there. Up here to let Glitch know that we've got D3 in there, we we'll just chuck in globals there. Um, now we're going to create some variables const uh, width equals 500. Uh, do we need a Yeah, I've already done it before. 
Now we want to um, get it into assets here, so you can just uh, drag that in. That uploads. Oh, that's not it. Yeah. There it is. Then you can copy the URL and use it in your project. Yeah. So what do we want? Uh, const URL equals. Okay, and then we use D3 to load the JSON up. It takes the URL and use, does it? Yeah. It's your function. Um, it's an error. And a GeoJSON. Okay, cool. Now, what we need is a projection. So D3 projections are things like this. Can you see that? Okay, um, we want a projection like this one, D3 orthographic. There you go. So we go const projection equals D3 orthographic. We want a path, which is D3 path. This is the part that I don't really know. And, uh, what is. But <laughs> geopath there, and we pass the projection <laughs> into that. Okay, now we actually want to uh, append the S, append the path on there. So I'm going to go cons geo path equals SVG append. Uh, we're going to append. Uh, what are we going to append there? Um, oh, yeah, we're going to. Let's 
equation equals zero plus plus. Takes an ah, array. yes, it's, it, I did that before as well. That has to be uh, an array because you know, it goes zero, zero, because you rotate it that way, that way, and that way. So now we're rotating. Uh, okay. okay, thank you, and that's a failure.